Fischer Track, ohne Fast Track, Fischer Track, ohne Fast Track. He's shaking and baking and mixing and fixing. Nutritious is meal, nutritious is meal. He's chef track on the fast track. He's chef track on the fast track. His food is so good, mmm good. His food is so good, mmm good. His food is so good, mmm good. Chef track, chef track, chef track, chef track. His food is so good, chef track. Me. Chef Ali from his show is Salt Pepper Salt Pepper and Memories. See only I would have a ringtone with my theme on it. Excuse me. Hello, how are you? Right now, Chef Trek Adventure is being is considered a variety show because it's not just cooking, it's a variety of things going on. The studio show consists of me, sometimes my co-host, Mia Bird, oftentimes a guest chef. You know what a sous chef is? Yeah. If somebody gets sick, he gets sued. And then there's a group of musicians that volunteer up their time. We call them the Chef Trek Orchestra. Then there's puppeteer Bernard King. So we have a show that has a studio audience, we have a band, and we have a puppet stage. Somebody made the mistake of saying, puppets, what next? I did meet some jugglers, and I have been reaching out to them, and I'm going to keep reaching out to them. So, you're liable to see anything on our show. Hi, I'm Vince Papawa, the real life invincible, and you're watching Chef Trek Adventures. Once again, once again, once again. Welcome to another Chef Trek adventure. My name is Chef Delmer Gill, and here's the wonderful chef, Mia Bird. Thank you, Chef. What's going on here? You know you're the only one that can answer that right now. What is Are going on? I'm pretty certain. Our children, once again, it's all about as our keyboard, one of our keyboarders, uh, Brother Charles Austin, Brother Walker, fun food and family, but this show is based on 4F. Faith, family, friends, and food. Ooh. Do you host Thanksgiving every year? Yes, I do. It's something, it's, I'm just keeping up with the family tradition that my dad would do. A big Thanksgiving dinner for family and friends. I know, I've known guys for years, guys have been chefs for years, and you say, hey, you cooking Thanksgiving? And they're like, I'm not cooking Thanksgiving, I cook every, I mean, I cook every day. But see, there's a difference. I love what I do. And there's nothing like with Chef Trek Adventures, faith, family, friends, and food. There's nothing better than preparing food for family and friends. My wife passed away in 2007. She had been sick. She recovered from a stroke. And uh, I was devastated. And I have no problem with looking dead in your camera saying, my wife died, I lost my job, uh, my car stopped, and I was suicidal. I didn't want to be here any longer. I had lost my faith. But why do I call Chef Trek the four Fs, faith, family, friends, and food? because it was family and friends that brought me from the edge of darkness, which I refused to go down that aisle again. That's why when you see my show, and it opens up with a woman in, in a straw hat standing on the beach, that was Beverly. Do your blessing. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for the and things of family. We thank you for all that you've done for us and all that you're about to do. We ask that you bless us from the cleanse of our heads to the soles of our feet. And we ask that you help us yeah. to yes. be grateful here. to be thankful for all that you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The thing about my kitchen is the kitchen I grew up in. The kitchen that I learned how to cook from my grandmother and my mother. Hey, dirty dishes. 
We're cooking at home. Birds, turtles, and fish growing up in this house, which is where I grew up, I was allowed to have. So birds have returned. Isn't that right, Phoenix? Normally she'd be flying all around the place looking for a place to perch. To have to wait until she gets tired of flying. Bird on the roof, bird on the roof. He can, he can make it happen, yeah. you know what I mean? All right, go home. I've known Dell since, yeah, since childhood. Um, and it's just funny that he was the one that introduced me to uh, audio. I used to go down with him to Temple University. Uh, he used to do live uh, jazz broadcast over the air. I've just recently completed uh, what I call my electronics room. So we'll go upstairs and take a look. This room used to be my mother's sewing room. I mean, I come up here and I just go over different music, uh, practice my um, segues, you know, say a few. Mind giving us a little bit of it now? A little, sure. A little. <laughs> Now, very important. Drink more water, Delmer. Yes, I'm trying to. Drink more water, folks. We need this. When I was like, like you guys in school, Temple University, radio, television, and film production, I was always behind the camera. This was me, you guys were me. But when this blessing of Chef Trek came up from out of nowhere, um, it was like, God, I'm gonna be in front of a camera. The insecurity sunk in like crazy, like, bam, Delmer, you're in front of a camera, not behind the camera. So I had to develop the personality of a broadcast person who you didn't see and present that for television. I confess, here on camera, Folks, my name is Delmer Gill. I'm known as Chef Trek, and I possess a high degree of strangeness, which I've worked on. I'll be 65 this this summer, so it's taken me years to develop this high degree of strangeness. But once again, there's great balance and uh, fun. When my high school, Simon Gratz High School, oh, we're starting the fencing team this year. Bam! I come running to my dad. <laughs> He didn't know what fencing was and still may not know, but he went and put out whatever he had to put out for his boy to learn fencing. My favorite of all my swords here is this samurai that has a cobra's head. The Chinese fighting fan. These are all weapons of war. But for some reason, Mr. Offbeat Person uses them for dance. So you would do things like this, circle, circle, go to your other hand. You can get your tickets and we'll have, I'll Hello. give us a good, oh, we had an entire so row last oh, okay. year. Okay. Many of the things that my brother has told me and things that my parents told me before they passed, you know, have a profound impact on who I am now. It was very scary of my wife laying out all these things that have come to pass. And it's not like bad things. It's all been good things. So I just say thank you, God. The night before she passed, here's a woman that outlined my life for me. And everything she outlined has come to pass. She said, I'm not going to be here. I didn't question her, but then she just mapped out everything about my life, and it has come to be. 
because what I tell people all the time is you have to understand who you are first. Once you truly understand who you are and that there's a purpose for you being here, then you're going to accept who or whatever you believe in. And then once you can do that, you can focus on other people. Boom, boom, boom. He shaft track on the fast track. He shaft track on the fast track. He shaking and baking and mixing and fixing. Nutritious meal, nutritious meal. He shaft track on the fast track. He shaft track on the fast track. His food is so good. Mmm, good. Chef track, chef track, chef track, chef track. His food is so good. Chef track, chef track. It's just fun being who you are. Yeah. So many people don't understand. You need to be who you are.